Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the leak about new AMD cards. I've got uh, Tom's hardware uh, here and I've got the list of new potential AMD cards. And the interesting one is 7950 XTX that may potentially beat 4090. Of course, we have no idea at the moment how these cards will really perform, if they're gonna be any good or really bad. However, if you go to Tech Power Up website and you manually type those numbers, those these new cards, you've get like real num well, real, you've got a lot of detailed numbers. I have no idea where they got those numbers from, but they look very convincing. I don't know if they know something we don't know. It's like a secret insider information or they just guesstimate, but that's a lot of very detailed information. And you've got the relative performance as well. So that's for XT version and XTX on the, on this chart beats 4090 guys. So if that's true, that would be very interesting to watch because recently AMD never had a better chance to take a hit on Nvidia. AMD's got very small market share. People normally don't care about AMD. Everybody go Nvidia like 90, uh, around 90%. However, people also never was so upset with Nvidia, like uh, rejecting those 4080 cards, 4070 Ti, 12 gigabytes of VRAM for uh, $800. So this slide was released by AMD and they were bragging about VRAM and how much they give comparing to Nvidia. So I hope they won't do anything stupid because AMD is known for doing question, to making questionable decisions. And I hope they price those cards well and they won't lose the chance because like for example this card at the beginning they they price at 900 dollars and i understand the logic you price high and if people don't like it you drop the price but the downside for that uh, decision or that logic is you got bad reviews and if you've got bad reviews there's nothing you can do after that you can lower the price but the bad review stays and you've got smart customers you know if people want to spend almost $1,000, they go online, they type reviews for this product and they see bad reviews and they, then they won't buy. Even if the prices is already lower, the bad review stays. So I hope, I hope AMD won't waste their chance and all these new cards will be priced well because they don't offer the same DLSS or ray tracing quality or frame generation. And all these new cards will still need to compete with the last generation of AMD cards that have the same tech. So hopefully the new cards will offer new, better prices or a lot of performance. So hopefully, let's see. So fingers crossed because strong AMD is good for everybody. Even if you don't care about AMD, like most people, you always go Nvidia, you will go with Nvidia. Strong AMD can put pressure on Nvidia. So Nvidia won't do silly stuff like 40, 70, 12 gigabytes, you know, for crazy money or stuff like that. So let's hope and let's see what's gonna happen. And let me in the comments below what you think will happen and if AMD will do it well or will they mess it up like they often do. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching.